Well, let me be honest with you about this movie. Oh boy, I love this film. It makes me want to watch it immediately again, one at a time, again and again and again. Now, why is it that this movie is so good? Well, you want to know why? Well, let me explain it to you. First thing was that when I re realized that this film was going to come out, I thought Heath Ledger was going to be in it. I was like, maybe not. Because have you seen the original one? Jack Nicholson did a pretty good job. Well, I thought he went well. So when I realized that Heath Ledger was going to replace him, I thought, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. So I gave it a try and it was great. It was a great film. And Chris Nolan, the director, he did a great job. And I thank him for making this film. And I also thank Heath Ledger for his performance as the Joker. So now on to the good stuff of this film. I like the the entire plot line actually. The whole plot line was actually really well done. And what else can I say? Well, the sense that Batman can't kill the Joker and the Joker cannot stop. The Joker is psycho. He destroys the city in a different way. He doesn't rob money. He just makes everybody lose their minds. So that's a great thing. And the music is good, actually. I'm playing the theme song right now. It's a great song. Great song. I also thank Hank Zimmer for writing the song. It's just great. It has that entire feeling of the movie throughout. So it was great. And I also like the simple song whenever the Joker shows up. So I like that. And also watching Batman on his bat pod was also really cool. But that's where the first problem comes in. Why does he have to run into a truck afterwards? I mean, he was about to run over the Joker, and then he just dodges, runs into the truck, and now he's relying on Gordon to save him? What a lousy guy. What a lazy guy. It's an insult. What were they thinking? And, and why did he say that he had to kill the police officers? Why didn't he say that the Joker did it? Didn't the Joker, like, ruin the city a few days ago? Why didn't the Batman blame him? Now he's getting his butt chased by a bunch of FBI agents and police and stuff. Now he's like a criminal. What was he thinking? And I just didn't like that like that idea, the very any idea. But I think they had to make it that way. So I think I can't blame them. And also the highway chase. The chase where the Joker was in a truck across the other truck and he's shooting him and stuff. Well, I like the idea that one of the truck was pushing the good guys forward so the Joker could keep shooting him. But the fact that the Batmobile already ruined that truck and now the good guys just keep on driving and letting the Joker shoot him. I mean, why couldn't they just hit the brakes so that the truck would go ahead of them so the Joker won't be able to see them anymore? They're just committing suicide. <sighs> so those are the main weak parts of the film. But then again, every good film has flaws, so these are a few flaws in it. I also think that the movie was way too dark, because the whole feeling throughout the Joker, it just doesn't feel that well. So even though it's PG-13, it could have been really easily rated R. So you guys should be careful, but I, already, but I know you guys already watched it. So just here to listen to my opinions. So. Maybe, I'm also going to suggest some other films that are not so popular, so you guys could give it a try. That's my main goal, actually. So, other stuff about the movie. I think the movie was also a little bit too long. There were a few parts that you could that the director could have cut out, but it's alright. I just think it's a little too long. The Joker also has a bunch of memorable quotes that are really memorable, and I really remember them. It makes us... Remember Heath Ledger that way. So he did a great job. Heath Ledger's performance was fantastic and amazing. And I love it. So it was great. It was awesome. And the fairy scene was also really good too. All of the scenes were good. So that's just about it. Now to the final problem. The real problem of this film. Why does Batman have a voice that is so deep? 
I mean, if you go on YouTube and type the Dark Knight interrogation spoof, that spoof completely shows the dark voice, dark deep voice of Batman, and it's so deep that the Joker, Joker doesn't even understand him. If you didn't watch it before, you could go on YouTube, type the Dark Knight interrogation scene spoof, and you will see two people portraying Batman and the Joker in the interrogation scene. And then the Batman just couldn't say anything right because his voice was just way too deep. And then it starts to get really funny. So that guy did a great job. But it made me really mad at the director who originally wanted to make him have a deep voice. Why did you make him have a deep voice? What were you thinking, Chris Nolan? If you're going to make a third film, please take away his deep voice. I beg you, please. Alright? Because... I, when, when I bought the DVD, I always had to put in subtitles because I have no clue what the Batman is saying. And I didn't go to theaters to watch it because I know it will be really hard to hear him. So I was right. It took me a long time to finally realize what he was saying. So that's the main problem. Overall, this movie went way beyond my expectations of a great movie. You guys could check it out, but I know you guys already watched it. So... I might watch it again. I definitely will watch it again. And there's going to be more movies coming up. Thanks for listening. This is the Addictive Movie Nerd.